If you are wondering how to start a photo gallery, this video is for you. Recently, I had someone message me and say, hey, how do I start a gallery? And it reminded me of when I first started delivering photos to clients through Facebook Messenger <laughs> because I didn't know something like this existed. So if that sounds like you, or if you're still using a USB or something like that, then this video is for you. I'm Caitlin Workman and I'm here to empower and encourage you on your photography journey. So I want to start by giving you a free gift, my 30 day Instagram challenge. I get over 50% of my bookings through Instagram and I love it. I think it's fun. And I know that's not the case for most people. So if you have no idea how to get started sharing about your life on Instagram, connecting with people, start with this 30 day free Instagram challenge. Let me know you're doing it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Now let's talk about how to start your first gallery. I'm just gonna show you guys how I would do it, how I would set it up if I was starting today using CloudSpot. I didn't start using CloudSpot, but I absolutely love them, would recommend them to everyone. So I'm just gonna share my screen with you and I'm gonna pretend I'm just starting a new account, okay? So you'll just go to the link in the comments. There's a link that gets you started on CloudSpot. So click that link and it will take you to this screen. It says get started right here. You'll just click get started. Um, and using that link, you get a free trial. I think it's 30 days, and then you can decide if you like it or not. So we're gonna sign up. I um, already have an account. <laughs> I'm gonna use my husband's email address, and he's gonna wonder why he's getting emails from CloudSpot. Okay, so you just put in your information, your name, all of that stuff, and then click create account. Welcome, I put my husband's name. <laughs> Welcome, Will. <laughs> we're so excited you're here. Okay, let's go create your first collection. Let's do um, wedding, let's do Caitlin wedding day. Um, and then event date. So usually I would put like the couple's name and then wedding to create the collection. I'll upload my own. Okay, so click this. This is fun because it's been a while since I've set it up. View collection. Okay, so this is exactly what it looks like for me now. So browse files. And let's go to desktop, let's go to Bethany and Bob's sneak. So this was a sneak peek gallery. Let's just select a couple of them. And upload. Look how fast it uploads. Okay, that's one reason why I love CloudSpot is because it's pretty fast. Um, these, I also exported these photos as larger files than I should have. And still it just takes a few minutes to get these uploaded. And I could upload this and then go upload some more and then just come back later and they would all be uploaded when I got back. So just like that, those five are uploaded. Click view, they're here. Okay, so you can drag a cover image here. We'll do that one. And um, that's pretty much it. Like you could go ahead and be done, but let's rename this. I'll show you a couple things that I do. So let's edit name photographer's favorites. In fact, it's spell. Okay, let's just go ahead and publish because it's asking me to do that and then we can rearrange. Okay, so I would publish as a gallery and then I would make sure that it's showing all of them that I have on here. You can make a portfolio. I can do another video on that later, but if you want to display it in your portfolio, you can under weddings. And then cover, you'd make sure you can pick different options. I usually just do the first one, but um, you can make it look like that if you want to, or look like that, that's pretty. Um, okay, there you go. You can see what it looks like on mobile too. Um, you can change the layout if you want from large columns. Um, and then make sure that you click this enable downloads so that they can download them obviously. And I include full resolution and social media. Um, okay. This says upgrade for high resolution downloads. So I guess when you're doing the free trial, you can't include high resolution downloads, which obviously you would want for your clients. But when you're doing this free trial, you can kind of like get used to it and see what you want. And then you can upgrade to the next package to make sure that you can include the full res files for your clients. Um, if you want to have a download pin, so they have to have a number to put in to download. If you're doing something like boudoir, you want it to be more secure, you can do that. 
I don't because my clients typically share with their parents and their friends and all that stuff. Um, sales here. Okay, so you would want to connect to Stripe. Mine's already connected. I can do another video on that if you guys want. So you can connect it to a store. So basically my clients can go on here and they can order prints and I get paid directly through CloudSpot without having to do anything myself, which is really, really nice. But you could do that and you could set up sales and things like that. Once you have subscribed to CloudSpot, is that the right word? Okay, um, and you could expire it if you want to. You could set a password. I don't do any of that. But then we're just gonna click publish. And then there you go. Um, so you can copy this link and send it in an email for your clients, or you can um, email directly through CloudSpot. You could send it to someone um, this way. You can even make templates to email them, but we could do, okay, photos are ready. Hello, your photos are ready. See the link, you can email it right there, which is really cool. Um, email sent just like that. Let's preview a gallery too, actually. Preview, so you guys can see how pretty it is. Um, so there's the cover photo, and then open gallery. And then you can just scroll, or you can click like that. And then they can favorite them. I love this because I can see as soon as my clients are favoriting them, I can see which ones were their favorites and I can see which ones they've downloaded so I know which ones they really loved. Um, or you could do a slideshow if you wanted. So that's CloudSpot. Let me know if you have specific questions. I hope this was helpful. It's just a way to elevate your experience and to streamline things instead of having to like mail them a USB or like, send in an email or however you are delivering them. So this is just a really easy way to get started. Make sure you like and subscribe for next week's video. And if you have questions, as always, leave them in the comments. And I hope you guys have a great week.